So here I'm going to show you how to use Docker for Mac so that you can run FME server in what feels like 100% native on your Mac. There's also Docker for Windows which would be exactly the same but I'm going to focus here on Docker for Mac. So the first thing I need to do is I need to install Docker for Mac. So I go Docker, I just look Docker for Mac. Okay, and I go here and Docker for Mac. Getting started with Docker for Mac. And there's a stable one and then there's a beta one. So um, <clears throat> I always live on the edge. So uh, I'm gonna go beta. So there you go. And I simply download it and now it's downloaded. Then I go to my install directory and I simply double click on it. <coughs> and then I drag that there and um, there you have it. So now that it's installed, I simply type Docker and you can see little fishy here means that Docker is running. So now I have Docker for Mac running. So now what I need to do is I'm going to install um, FME server. So I'm going to go back to Firefox and I'm going to go to Docker Hub. <coughs> okay. And you can create an account if you want, but you don't need to. I'm going to search for FME and I'm going to look for um, FME engine. That one's not the one I want. I want FME server. So I find some anything that says FME server and I want to run 2617. If you want to run 2016, you can do that too, but I'm going to do 2017. I simply click the details and what I need is I need this Docker compose file because um, that sets up all the different Docker um, packages, um, containers that are part of this Docker deployment. So you can see what we have. We have the, the, the FME server database in a container. We have the core, FME server core in a container. We have the web tier in a container. And of course, each FME engines in a container. And um, we've also done a number of nice things like restrict the engine to what it can see. So no longer will the engine have um, the ability to go anywhere it wants. It can only see the stuff that we want it to see. So that's kind of exciting. So um, what I'm going to do now is download that. Okay, so we're going to save that file. There, there it is. Okay. And Docker Compose YAML. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in... Um, I created a Docker directory here just because it's easier and I'm simply going to put this one over top of my existing one so I'm going to put it in here there you go replace so now that that's there I'm ready to run FME server 2017 okay so now you go to your directory where you installed it okay in my case I put it there and now I'm simply going to say docker compose up minus D. I hit enter. Okay. And in your case, you're going to see a whole bunch of things being pulled because it's got to pull all the, uh, the images down from the, F the uh, Docker hub. Um, and so now if I do a PS on this, I can see what I have running. It shows me all the containers that I have, web, engine, core, database. Now you'll see the engines are gonna completely restart all the time, and you may wonder why that is. So let's go to Firefox. Um, it should be up by now. Okay, so now you're gonna find, you go on here, that your FME server is running. Okay, so there we go. So here we see our FME. We log in, and now I see all my um, stuff. And of course, um, this is a new FME server, so I need to activate it. So I just do that as well. And then, I say OK, and that's it. <coughs> I will be licensed just as always and so there you go now i have fme server 2017 running on my mac so thank you very much